In the 23rd of May, 1990, this book and this book changed my life. An amazing part about this book, and I read them actually before the 23rd of May, 1990. It was probably the week leading up to that date. And these are written by Frank Peretti, and they're so-called fiction, right? And he wrote them in 1986. And as you can see, there's over 3 million copies of this sold, and, and this one over 2 million. And it's really quite interesting, and I'm rereading it, and it's, and it's fiction. But I can assure you, this is more than just fiction. This is what is really happening right now. And it's almost like, in its own sense, it's almost like a prophecy of what's happening uh, in, in real life. And the story parallels what's happening in the spiritual realm and what's happening in a little small town called Ashton and how the demonic um, is infiltrating society infiltrating universities, infiltrating every one of the seven mountains. If you understand the seven mountain mandate or the seven mountain prophecy, how the demonic has invaded every one of the seven mountains and and infiltrated them and then the the um then infiltrated infiltrated the seven mountains. Obviously the demonic and, and this is what I really came to understand is how the demonic actually uses people and through people it reaches out into society to destroy society and this is this is the battle against good and evil but as i'm rereading it it's probably the third time i've read it um since may 1990 but i see it clearer and clearer it's almost like this is almost like a prophetic statement of what is happening today how the universities were invaded by the demonic you know, and when I say demonic, by demonically inspired people, how the police force was corrupted by it, how every part of society was corrupted and the demonic entities that were working through those people that bowed down to worship Lucifer or worship Satan and the other demons. And then how a little, I won't steal all the story, but how a little church and one little praying pastor finally united the, the church to come together and as they got together and finally united and prayed, they activated the angelic realm. And the war, as it says, you know, like he's got it right up the front in, in his book. And, you know, that it's obviously that Frank Purdy is a Christian. And on his first pages, you know, in here, he's saying, for we, we're not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the will rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness, in the heavenly places, and that's in Ephesians 6.12, the revived standard version. But in essence, that's what we're fighting against. We need to understand what we're fighting, and, and otherwise, if we've got a head in the sand and start doing this in the natural, we can't win this in the natural. First, it has to be won in the spiritual realm. If you've never read these books, I strongly recommend that you buy the two of them because that one there is a sequence of this one. And, uh, and they follow on from each other. And it's just ex so exciting to see that we're going to have the victory in the natural now, as well as what they did in these books when we get together, when we unite together and pray. But also it's just so, it's just such good reading, you know, to do that. It's such riveting story. And it's like you read it and you think, man alive, I feel like I'm reading what's happening in today's society and not just in a little town like this was, but on a global level. And the good thing is the two books, I think I bought the two books for $30 out of, out of Kurong. If you're in Australia, you know, you can buy these out of Kurong and, and, uh, and just enjoy them. It'll just help you to understand what is, what is happening. And I find that these are a great evangelism tool. You know, if you've got friends that are really trying to get their heads around it, you know, the blinkers are finally coming off and they want to get their heads around what's happening. This is a great book to give them and it gives them an insight. And, you know, way back then I couldn't understand if God was love, how come all this bad stuff happened? When I read these, all of a sudden Christianity made sense. And I went from a God hater to someone barricading for the Christians in the, in this book as I were, began to pray and unite and that that activated the angelic realm 
and the angelic realm in turn had the victories. And as they had the victories, the victory came out into the natural and, and the enemy was defeated. And all the seven mountains in, as in the story are restored to God. Let us so anyway, that's well worth reading. So I trust that you've um, go and read them. It's just fantastic. And you know, at the last, at the, at whatever happens, God's going to have the last say and he's going to have the victory. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day.